Hello and welcome to Talk of Thrones, the show where I discuss Game of Thrones related content and other such things concerning Game of Thrones. And today we're going to look at how powerful is House Stark. House Stark can raise about 45,000 troops. Their armor isn't exactly the best compared to the Tyrell or Lannister armor, but it is decent. But the thing is, it won't provide much protection when uh, Ned tries to take over King's Landing. The City Watch pierced the Stark armor pretty well, so their armor isn't exactly the best. But they can, but 45,000 troops is quite a large number compared to other regions of Westeros. House Stark is also the only great house in Westeros with access to direwolves, which can be quite the advantage in battle. House Stark also has a strong economy, but it's not as good as the Tyrells or the Lannisters. Part of this is due to House Manderley, which has large silver mines underneath White Harbor. White Harbor is also a major economic hub for the North, which trades with the Free Cities and other regions of Westeros. White Harbor also has a fleet, which gives House Stark some naval strength. Due to the lack of agriculture and mining, in the rest of the north. Rest of the north mainly relies on fur trapping and hunting to survive. House Stark has also built careful military and economic alliances with House Tully and House Baratheon. House Stark can produce enough crops to feed themselves, but not enough to export to other areas of Westeros, so most of the northerners' diet mainly consists of meat. The north's strength is also its greatest weakness. It makes the north impossible to conquer with the neck to the south and the wall to the north, yet it can delay the mobilization of Stark troops by weeks, if not months. If the Wildlings or White Walkers were to invade, the North would most likely be the first target, seeing as they do share borders with them. And the Night's Watch has been slowly dwindling over the years, so it would be up to House Stark to stop these threats from beyond the wall. House Stark and the rest of the Northern Houses worship the Old Gods of the Forest, which might put them in bad standing with religious organizations such as the Faith of the Seven or the High Sparrow. House Stark's vassals tend to be a bit disobedient, such as House Umber and House Karstark. Some vassals of House Stark have even gone so far to kill their liege lords, such as House Bolton, cough cough, at the Red Wedding. I feel like mate, this is because the Boltons wanted to reclaim their titles as kings in the north in a way, because the Boltons did have their own kingdom in the north before the Starks took over the entire north. A lot of the members of House Stark tend to be too trusting of people with their own ulterior motives. As of Season 5 and Book 5, House Stark is pretty much extinct and scattered at this point, so they're not really ruling the north anymore as much as House Bolton is. So this is my second installment of the House how powerful is series. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All likes are appreciated. Bye.